Hey guys, welcome back to another revisit. Uh, this time we will be on Halo 3 again. And this will not be a mod revisit this time. This is just another plain old uh, glitch slash easter egg revisit. So what you want to do is start up on the Covenant at this part and just do the uh, time travel glitch as normal. Which I'll get to in a second. So I'm going to start off by saying um, you should watch my other Secret Elite video first. I mean, you don't have to. Oh, we'll get to that again. We'll cover it in this video later. But basically, the reason why I'm making this video is because there's actually more to the Secret Elite, which I will cover soon. But, you know, I did not know this before, and it was pretty much just brought to my attention just like a couple of days ago. And I, after all these years, I never noticed it until now, basically. So we're just going to do the usual time travel glitch, you know, trap up the mountain with a ghost and then drive into the void out there. Uh, once again, if you if you haven't gone good at the time travel glitch yet, just boost your ghost up here on towards that tower until you hit a barrier and just keep riding along the barrier until you're through. But don't go too far through, just, you know, until you break through and find like a little bump on the ground here, like right there and just back up slowly and you will do the time travel glitch successfully without getting stuck. Even if you do get stuck though, um, your teammates will spawn up, up, up top on the mountain so you know it won't be an issue. They can just do what I'm doing here and respawn you again. So That's why it helps to do this on co-op. But you don't have to do this on co-op. You could do it yourself and get the same results. But it's just simply easier to do a co-op. Most glitches and Easter eggs are always easier to do on co-op, because you know if you die, you don't have to like restart it all over again. You can always have someone stay back and respawn you. So, anyways, once you've done the glitch, just head down over here and basically continue as normal. You'll notice that no vehicles spawn. And the scares don't spawn either. Instead, all the brutes spawn in the sky and just drop to their death. These are some of the effects of the original time travel glitch. But that's not the focus of this video. Like I said, I will get to a, re um, a video soon where we visit all the time travel glitches on the Covenant. But not today. For today, we are focusing on the other secret elites. But I'm going to show you the original Secret Elite first in that video that I made like years and years ago. Uh, it must be like 8 or 9 years ago now. Plus I also did a revisit of it like 1 year ago. But now we're going to revisit the revisit again. Because <laughs> there is more to be revisited. So this is the Secret Elite. Uh, it is, you know, standing out here uh, weaponless and can't be killed but if you look up there on a ledge there's two other elites up there that I have never noticed before after how many times I've done this as well so we're just gonna forget about this boring old elite here we've probably seen him too many times let's go check out the other elites I will mention first the older uh, secret elite there He's actually probably the pilot of the Phantom that normally comes in. Uh, and he's he still spawns in but just stands down there. And that's why he's invincible because he's the pilot and he's not supposed to be seen. So, if I didn't explain that in my other video, then I should explain it now. Anyways, uh, to get up to to elites, you're going to do the elevator glitch up here on this platform. To do that, especially on this part, you're going to need three people for sure. Have one person stand on the bottom, one person in the middle, and then you jump on top. person in the middle just keeps walking forward while tapping the uh, jump button, and you will elevate up. Pretty simple glitch, very useful. It only works at 90 degree corners, so that's why you need someone at the bottom. Because the ground is not flat, it's like angled, so it's not like a perfect 90 degree corner. But with a person standing underneath that makes it 90 degrees a flat bottom at least so that's why you need um, three people to do this to get the other leads 
I mean, like I said, you can do this by yourself and still be able to see the elites from far away. You just won't be able to reach the other elites by yourself. And also, you want to be careful here, because uh, the glass is not solid. So if you stand on it, you will fall right through and mess this all up. But assuming you got through that safely, just uh, proceed here. And we are pretty much at the two elites now. As you can see, there are also red elites. Sometimes they might be blue elites. In this case, we have the thunderstorm skull turned on, so all these elites will pretty much always be red. Because, I don't know, I think the red elites look a lot cooler than the blue elites. And they're a lot rarer, too. So that's why I turned them on. But it makes no difference. They could be blue or red. Same thing. And just like the original secret elite down there on the ground, these two elites are also invincible and cannot be killed. However, there is actually something a little bit different about these elites, uh, which I will show you in a second. But, see these two elites, at first I thought they were the elites that spawn in on the ghosts. But, I'm not so sure actually. Because the elites that spawn in on a ghost, I, I believe the ghosts do fly on, on a ledge here and then drive down. But I can't be too sure. Um, oh, one other thing about this elite is that if you stick it with a grenade, he will pull an energy sword like most elites do. However, the other elite does not pull an energy sword. The one on the ground. Both of these do, but the one that spawned on the ground that you've seen on my older videos he does not pull out an energy sword. So that's the difference between these two elites and the one over there. Is that you can get energy swords from these ones. So the elite back there, I'm pretty sure is from the Phantom. The one that pilots the Phantom. But these two elites, I'm not sure where they come from. I thought they were the ones driving... Actually, you know what? They couldn't be the ones driving ghosts because the elites are your allies. So yeah, I have no idea where the elites come from. They might be the gunners on the Phantom, but I don't think those gunners are invincible. I'm pretty sure I've killed them before, and I don't remember there being two. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe there are two, but I'm pretty sure they're not invincible on the turrets. And even if they were, I have no idea why they spawned so far away from the pilot here. I figured that if they were on the Phantom, they would at least all spawn together, or at least pretty close to each other on the ground. So I have no idea why. Um, they spawn up there or where they originate from but yeah so this time me and my friends were very thorough we went all the way around the map we checked everything out every spot there are no other secret elites so I am basically closing the case on this glitch once and for all and this will be the last revisit there should not be any more secret elites to revisit as a little bonus uh, you guys saw my old time travel videos uh, the marines here all duplicate if you go back to earlier in the video you'll saw you'll see there's only like two elites two marines here and now there's more oh and also this marine i just zoomed in on uh if you guys remember my marine island video from like a week ago that's the same face as that marine on the marine island so that's to emphasize that that nothing special about that marine even though a lot of people do say it looks like spartan lock which i do agree the resemblance is uncanny. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to drop a like, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will once again see you guys next time. Actually, no, you know what? I, I do daily uploads now, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's next time.